Hey guys, a little bit of a long video today because this is actually nine hours of work that we got done today. <laughs> a ton of grass cutting, a ton of stuff, but I wanted to have sort of a teachable moment where we talk about the time where we start to shut off our fertilizers. So cool season guys will shut off their fertilizers a little bit earlier than us warm season guys. I'm gonna talk about it. We're gonna put down organic matter. We're gonna cut the front, we're gonna cut the back. I gotta cut barbs, I gotta cut the green. It's a long nine hour day that I'm squeezing into about 15 to 18 minutes. So, uh, oh, and you gotta look for the bird thing at the end. Don't miss the bird thing. Here we go. Wait a minute, you want your milk bones? Hold on, let's go over here. And take them. Take them. Take it. Take it. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my son to come by, if you know anything, this garden over here was basically empty <laughs> about two months ago. There was nothing here. I don't know if you remember that, but this is what we call our wild garden. We just keep throwing crap in there and just let it grow naturally. But this year, we started some sunflower plants in the Dirt Booster compost soil and they just took off. Well, I want to show you them now because we also mix them in. Look at that. Look at that sunflower. That's got to be close to, it's almost touching the gutter now. That is just amazing. So I've got one, two, three, four of these in here. Called a Russian sunflower. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That is gorgeous. I love that. Beautiful. But you can see, <laughs> look how tall that thing is. That's just crazy. Morning. So today I'm gonna to veer off our normal subjects for a minute and I'm gonna to touch a little bit on cool season grasses. But I'm gonna talk about that transition time where we think about feeding our lawns and feeding our lawns and feeding our lawns to the time where everyone says, okay, you need to back off because we have warmer weather coming in and we don't want a whole bunch of energy in our lawn to create stress. I want to make sure that you understand a couple of points that we still need to take care of our soil, not just our lawn during that time. And there are things we can do, especially you cool season guys, where everybody is telling you stop fertilizing, no fertilizer during the summer months. There's stuff you can be doing to really help your lawn. We'll talk about that. We're going to come out here today. We're going to cut the lawns. We have had a huge amount of rain. We have had three days, which is thunderstorms and thunderstorms and gully washers. So this is the first time my grass has actually gotten probably above half an inch. And today we got to cut it. So this should be interesting. We'll probably apply some of the dirt booster to the backyard. Um, I'm not sure if we'll do it to the back or if we'll do it to the front or we'll do it to both. Anyways, hold on one second. So that's uh, just a little quick tip for you. <laughs> what I like to do is if we're gonna cut the lawn, I come out here early in the morning and I knock this dew down with a rake and I can cut my lawn about an hour or so earlier. Uh, a lot of my areas of my lawn would still be dew covered and they wouldn't cut well and they'd muck up my blades, but this will help your lawn dry out. And especially during drought periods, you push a lot of water down into your turf. So a lot of times I'll come out here and I'll actually rake my lawn the day of the cut. And it just allows us to come out here and cut a nice dry grass rather than dealing with a wet mess. So the same applies on our green back here. I actually rake this because we're probably gonna cut this today. But this is a cool season. This is a dwarf bent or dwarf blue. It's actually mixed. So we have to treat this a little bit differently than we do our warm season grasses. Both grasses, both warm season and cool season though, will hit a point where you sort of need to tone down your fertilizer and overall energy push in your grasses. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. When you go to that phase, there's also something you can do though. You can continue to take care of your soil. That's so important. I'll stress that in a minute. Ooh, man, that sunshine is a killer. <laughs> so let's take a minute and let's talk about the differences between a warm season and a cool season program 
and when we sort of shut down our fertilizers. All you cool season guys, you basically have heard that you leave your lawn alone once you start to get into the heat. So once you start to get into that end of spring warm temperature, summer warm temperatures, stop your fertilizer. No fertilizer during the summer. And that's basically true. We don't want to create stress in the plant. We just want to let it exist. We do our fertilizing more in the fall and early spring for your cool season. Warm season people, we're dumping down fertilizer right now. We're pushing our lawn because warm season grasses love the heat. Warm season grasses love the 80s. So if you're in the 80s, man, you can just feed away. So majority of you are gonna be putting down PGF Complete 1648. Be putting it down every three weeks. I'm putting down a light coat. If you have low phosphorus, I will tell you, one of the biggest improvements in my lawn this year is using the PGF Balance, which is an all fast release 10, 10, 10, getting that phosphorus level back up a little bit. Soil test is really important. So what can we do for our lawns during the times where we are not putting down fertilizer, we're sort of pulling down a, back a little bit because we're entering into stress zone. Now a stress zone for a warm season grass is probably gonna be July and August. That's we're gonna have a lot of heat and we probably don't wanna be pushing a lot of nitrogen into the lawn. We switch over to the soil. So we can be putting down a ton of humichar. Remember, humichar has nothing that will stimulate growth. It's just improving the soil through biochar and humic acid. So we can put down humichar as often as we want. What's the other thing we can do? We can add clean organic matter into our lawn through either the chicken feed or if you have a smaller lawn, you can use the dirt booster product. And then we want to increase the soil microbes in the soil fungus. And let's go over that. Now, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. <laughs> There's kind of a secret video tucked away that I shot last week. We've had, uh, we have a couple golf courses and some sports turf that we're working with on areas that are weak for them, but they don't wanna bring in compost or manure or topsoil and interrupt play. So if you go to dirtbooster.com and click on Lawn and Turf, it's a new page with a private kind of video on there that's not published. And we're talking to actual turf managers there because we have some courses that are going to be using the Dirt Booster product on their courses. But I talk about the life cycle of the soil and improving the soil. If you improve your soil, you'll improve the health and stress resistance of your lawn. So understand this we're adding carbon which will hold on to the nutrients it will hold on to the good microbes and hold on to water we do that through the humichar we add clean organic matter we do that through the corn concentrates and the molasses particles in dirt booster or you can use the chicken feed that we talked about um, and then we load the lawn with these good microbial and fungus spores and allow that symbiotic relationship to form so let me explain that your plant, your grass roots are here. When we put these spores out on our soil, the roots call out to these spores and the fungus starts to grow and actually connects and surrounds our roots. It becomes an extension of our roots and can quadruple the amount of area that our roots can cover. This symbiotic relationship, let me explain what happens. Your plant, whether it's in your garden or in your grass, produces excess sugar. That sugar gets exchanged to the fungus, the good fungus, and in return, the good fungus brings nutrients and water to your soil. So it's a natural process that helps your plant. That good fungus actually battles bad fungus and disease as well too. But to keep this fungus alive, it needs a few things. It needs organic matter, it needs water, it needs oxygen. So that's why we not just put the spores out, but then we put the organic matter and we put the carbon on top. It's that natural sort of cycle that we're going through. We're creating this life cycle of the soil. And when we create this active living soil, we actually improve our lawn, our crop or vegetables, and it helps with disease resistance, it helps with stress resistance, helps with drought resistance. 
Um, there's some amazing videos out there, and I've asked you guys to watch them before about how this good, this mycorrhizal fungi actually goes in and actually becomes an extension of our roots and helps our lawn survive. So when you enter into your pullback zone for your fertilizers, I really want you to start concentrating on your soil. And what you can do, of course, is you can put down humichar, and then you can start some of this organic program. Now the organic, don't consider it a fertilizer. We call it an organic fertilizer sometimes, but it's very, very mild. It cannot burn your lawn. It will not push. It will not, you're not dumping down a whole bunch of nitrogen. During the decomposition process, and it will release a, a very small amount of nutrients into the lawn, but it's not like we're dumping nitrogen down and pushing our lawn. It's a wonderful relationship that we've done for the past two years back here, and it really has improved this soil. This is like a 15-year-old turf that has just come back to life, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So today, um, I'll put a link to all that down below in the page, of course. Today, we're going to come out here. We're going to cut the lawn. I don't think I need any fertilizers. We've had a ton of rain the past three days. My lawn is the longest that it's been. <laughs> We're trying to keep it at half an inch. We haven't been able to cut it because of all the rain. So I think what we'll do is we're gonna cut the front and the back. We're going to then put out some of this dirt booster product and I'll show you the application of it. It's a great time to do it. And then we'll spray it with that microbial booster pack. Um, we're gonna cut the front, we're gonna cut the back. We're breaking it down, back down to half an inch after all this rain. I'm gonna put some of the dirt booster out on the lawn here. Uh, we already put some out back, so I figured I'd put some on the front just to show you. We've already done one heavy organic and human char treatment out here last week, uh, about a week and a half ago. But we haven't done that much on the back, so we'll put some dirt booster just to show you how it spreads. It spreads really nice. Again, you don't use the dirt booster because it's economical, it's convenient, it has everything inside of it. You, it's much cheaper to go with the uh, chicken feed way. You can see just how good this lawn looks. I mean, it really is amazing. Hold up just a minute. Been looking for some help just to find myself. Yeah. Been losing my focus. Like a thousand times before Can't take this anymore Cause I've been looking for something To change thoughts into motion Been waiting way too long Yeah, waiting just for somebody To love and to surround me And to handle my emotions I was out waiting for some if I close my eyes, it's all been a waste of time. I was out driving every mile, and now if I've been wild, it's all been a waste of time. It's all been a waste of time. How could somebody? with someone else if you can't be by yourself yeah. I got my problems lately I've been fading out holding out waiting just for somebody to love and to surround me and to handle my emotions I was out waiting for something Close my eyes Close my eyes, it's all been a waste of time. I was out 
So, uh, real quick, the dirt booster. I've said this before, we use chicken feed, watch those videos, it's $15 for a 50 pound bag. However, if you have a small lawn, this has the humichar, molasses particles, the corn concentrate, all the organic matter, and it comes with its own microbial pack. So everything's included in this. So if you want something that's convenient, this originally was designed for the gardens, now we're transitioning it into the lawns. And I don't think we'll have a large bag of this until um, next season. We're talking to Andersons about maybe putting that in a 40 pound bag for the lawn. Again, you've got your humichar, the corn concentrate product, molasses particles, and it smells so good. <laughs> it really does. It just smells like sweet corn cereal. It's delicious. Uh, we're out here laughing because the lawn just looks delicious. <laughs> it does. It just looks amazing. You have all the fertilizer we've been putting down doing the corrections. The organic matter. This has had two treatments of organic matter and humichar. It's had four treatments of humichar. And now with all this rain moving in, there's not another lawn for 100 miles that looks like this. There's not a golf course that is this nice right now out there. So this is, this is a real light setting. We're putting one bag out on about 5,000 square feet and you could do this every single week in the summertime. I'm not joking. You could put it out every single week if you wanted to. Well, I can tell you this much. Doc's tired. <laughs> I'm real tired. Not only did we cut all the lawns, the front and the back, put out all the stuff, did every, all that stuff, cut the green. Then I had to hop on my John Deere and go over and cut barb too. So I'm tired. They're swooping down on my pool. And I'm trying to figure out if they're eating bugs or what they're doing. Let's see if he goes down in the water. Look at that. You see that? <laughs> oh no, Doc's distracted. Let's see if he does it again. I don't know if he's eating something down there or what. Dude, that is the coolest thing. And do it again. Always helps to have a camera with you, man, because you never know what crap you're going to see. So anyways, uh, the Good Witch is probably going to come over tomorrow. We're going to start working on our gardens. But I did want to show you sort of an update over here. Um, this year, you know what we're doing is we're not using any mulch. We're actually using natural, natural plants and cover crops in our gardens instead of mulch. And I want to sort of show you how this is turning out. So we've started putting some of our stakes here. Ryan came out and we're putting our stakes. We put these tall stakes up here. But I want you to look. See the cover crop in here? Man, look at that squash plant. But all this, all this is protecting the dirt from the sunshine. And there's a huge amount of root system in here. Benefits, all that good, uh, that good fungus, the same thing that we're using. But see all this? Isn't that great? And look at these tomato plants. Look how gorgeous they are. They're starting already. When you get to the point in your lawn care that you actually start shutting down your fertilizers, don't forget about your soil. You still have more work to do. You can work all summer long on improving your soil. Let me tell you what, even my son Ryan said, he said, dude, this is the best this lawn has ever looked. And it really is because we're putting carbon down and we're putting natural organic matter down on this. Anyways, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later. Die.